the reluctance to depart from what is called the purchase and sale agreement is because the town actually hired an attorney to draft that purchase and sale agreement language to fit with our existing ordinance language in the mandatory affordable housing provisions. And then we offer it to applicants as a free option. If they want to come up with a different way to uh, meet the requirement, we're willing to review that. But this is something they know that they can put their name on and it will be acceptable to our town attorney. So it's a much, it, it almost eliminates the burden of them meeting this, the administrative burden of them meeting this requirement. It restricts it just to the cost burden of meeting this requirement. Okay. So that's why we, we, we live with some of the awkwardness sometimes. So then the other thing we would need to add is that the plans be revised um, to identify all of the abutting lots. That's all the easement lots. All the, well, all of the abutting lots affected by the drainage easements. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Anybody else have any questions? Anyone want to make a motion? I could, but I'm not sure I got your language on the recorded restrictions for lot three. I think there was some additional change um, there on point number five. So that it would say that um, recorded restrictions rather than deed restrictions. Yep, I got that. Recorded restrictions for lot three of Blueberry Ridge subdivision in a form that runs with the title to the land. Is anyone else? I'm happy to do it. Oh, you're good at this. <laughs> All right, here goes. Motion for the board to consider. Findings of facts. Fact. Joseph Frustacci. Is that right? Joseph Rustachi is requesting an amendment to the previously approved Rosewood subdivision to create an additional lot located at the end of Rosewood Lane, which requires review under Section 1625 of the subdivision ordinance. The town engineer is recommending minor revisions to the boulder retaining wall design. Number three, preservation of landscaping should be incorporated into the development of the lot. Number four, the applicant has agreed to pay a fee instead of setting aside open space. Number five, the applicant has agreed to designate a new moderate income affordable housing lot in Blueberry Ridge instead of meeting the affordable housing requirement in the sub Rosewood subdivision. Number six, the plan includes a stormwater design that requires the establishment of drainage easements to convey water and an, amendment, um, and an amended road maintenance agreement for Rosewood Drive. Number seven, the applicant has substantially addressed the standards of the subdivision ordinance, section 1631. Therefore, be it ordered that, based on the plans and materials submitted and the facts presented, the application of Joseph Frustacci for an amendment to the previously approved Rosewood subdivision to create an additional lot located at the end of Rosewood Lane be approved subject to the following conditions. Number one, that the plans be revised to address paragraph five of the town engineer's letter dated 5-11-2001. Number two, that a note be added to the plans restricting activities outside the building envelope to installation of driveways, utilities, and regarding regrading and retaining wall construction consistent with the stormwater design for the lot. Number three, that a note be added to the plans that five white pines will be planted, uh, to be planted will be a minimum of six to seven inches in diameter at the time of planting. Number four, that an open space impact fee of $4,455 be paid. Number five, that recorded restrictions for lot three of Blueberry Ridge subdivision um, in a form that runs with the title to the land be recorded designating that lot as a moderate 
income affordable lot under mandatory affordable housing provisions section 1974 of the zoning ordinance the applicant agrees to sell the lot with a home constructed on the lot for no more than the modern income affordable home price applicable at the time number six that the road maintenance agreement and drainage easements three be submitted in a form applicable to the town attorney signed by the applicant and recorded in the cumberland county registry of deeds number seven um, that the plan be revised to identify all of the abutting lots affected by the drainage easements and number eight that the plans be revised and submitted to the town planner for review and approval and that all above conditions be satisfied prior to recording the subdivision plat the comment uh, madam chair if i might on uh just a clarification on note number three uh, that a note be added to the plans that five white pines be planted will be minimum six to seven feet. Oh, and five. And Thanks. Should we add a, a note that it would be, or if it's clear enough to the board that it be sub, they're, they're, the specific locations be subject to the need as, as, as the applicant sees fit on the property, that, that we're not going to, we haven't shown a specific spot for those trees as long as it's understood that those will be as infill. Could we add to note three at the end and adjust and field adjust and the location adjusted in the field? That would be perfect, yeah. Thank you. You accept those changes, Liza? I do. Thank okay. you. Do we have a second? Second. Okay. Discussion. Maureen. I'm not allowed to do discussion, but I, I think the chair picked up um, something that's missing. In your motion, yes. I should have also referred to the private access way permit that's required for lot four, lot four. And so what I would recommend to the board for consideration is where you have your motion, therefore be it ordered that, based on the plans and materials submitted and the facts presented, the application of Joseph Rustashi for an amendment to the previously approved Rosewood subdivision to create an additional lot located at the end of the road, at the end of Rosewood Lane and a private access way permit mm. for lot four. Be approved and do we need a finding on that do we have to make yeah. a finding we can slip on that if you need to if you want to add the same thing to the finding we can do that i think i'd feel more comfortable if, if we had a finding on that also what, what you could do is uh under findings of fact number one mm -hmm. joseph Ustashi is requesting an amendment to the previously approved rosewood subdivision to create an additional lo lot located at the end of rosewood lane and a private access way permit for lot four. But is there anything, any specific finding that we need to make in order to justify the granting of that private access way? No. No. Okay. You may accept, I'm going to say, on number seven. And, and I think Joe's saying it's lot 4B. Well, it's for this lot here. This four, is 4A. Four okay. This 4B is 4A. Okay, for it. And then under number seven, under uh, seven findings of fact, yep. the applicant has substantially addressed the standards of section of the subdivision ordinance section 1631, comma, and private access way okay. standards in section 19 7 9. Good. Madam Chair, if I might, if it's, if it's okay, I think the private access way would, it's for the end lot to re for the reduced frontage, correct? That would be lot 4B. So we're clear. Oops. All the references should be to 4B. 4B. Private right. access way, 4B. So we now have, Liza, do you accept those amendments? I do you? accept those amendments. So the first finding of facts, private access way permit for 4B, and then the seventh finding of facts, including the private access way ordinance, 1979. Yeah. Okay. Carol, do you accept those? It, yes. That's just your second. Yes, I do accept those. So I'm okay. just looking confused because I thought 4A was the new lot and 4B was the current That's right. structure. Right. Yeah, the yeah. One that you're right. The, the thought, you're right. It's the one that needs the private access way permit. And actually, the new lot has sufficient frontage. Uh, so we're reducing the frontage. It's the old lot that okay. is yes. sufficient. The old lot is 4B. All right. Okay, I'm also. Okay, anybody else? Any further discussion? You ready to vote? All in favor? That's five in favor, none here to be opposed. 
The motion carries. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yes. <laughs> Have the table cleared up. In just a moment, we will move to our next item on the agenda. Take a very brief break. Next item on our agenda is Bothell Blueberries RP permit, resource protection permit. Adam Salve is requesting a resource protection permit to remove 31,581 square feet of vegetation in an RP1 buffer in order to plant high bush blueberries on the lot located behind 88 Ocean House Road. Section 1983 resource protection permit. Uh, the issue before us is completeness. Let me just make a brief mention of what our procedure is going to be tonight because we are having a public comment period, something a little bit new for us. The applicant will make his uh, presentation. This is not a public hearing tonight, but we will open the floor for public comment on the issue of 
completeness, and we will follow the same procedure that we used earlier. This